It's going. You're on one wheel in the back. There you go. One wheel. You're teetering. Yeah, you're good. There you go. Because you're going to dip really far in the front. It's only a difficult trail in Moab. How bad could it be? Last time, we left you in the middle of the trail after scraping our frame over and over and over again. Today, we're continuing where we left off and we'll show you the rest of the Dome Plateau Trail. And believe me, it doesn't get any easier. We move from belly scraping to hitch scraping. Should I go that way or something? This way. You don't want us, they don't want to do this one, trust me. You're okay. No more exhaust scrapes. The brakes were trading. Okay, keep going straight for a little bit. And now start turning driver. You're just, you're totally shoved. I guess you're going to four high. Really? Apparently, you're just up just enough in the back. I guess I'm going to have to go low. What should I do? Loose sand? Loose rock? Loose sand. Loose sand. I'm going to do rock and dirt, okay? It? It's going. Okay. You're on one wheel in the back. There you go. One wheel? You're teetering. I'm on two or three wheels. There we go. I always give my hand. Well, that was hurt. exciting. That was exciting. We've crushed the exhaust. This comb is going away. No, it's not going away. See that? That wasn't there before. See that? That wasn't there before. Hey, let's See that? Look at that wasn't there before. It crushed it on a rock. Look at it. It's always been a little pre flattened. Me. Hang on, Everett. See it? And then we're going to look right here. See that? That wasn't there before. Oh my god, we crushed it. See that? Broken exhaust studs up in there, baby. Everything's just crushed. It's all bad. Since we won't be providing an official trail damage update after this for this trail, I'll just let you know that it's actually not as bad as it looked after we kind of cleaned it up. The exhaust is actually naturally flatter from the factory for this purpose in case you do whack it and it is double walled. So it's actually just some mild scraping and some paint that we can actually just touch up. So it's really not as bad as it looked, just for the record. But let's be honest, it's still a pretty brand new Tacoma, so any little bit of scratching is kind of, you know, disheartening just a little bit. But it is an off-road vehicle, and we intend to use it like one. So let's see what other things we acquire on this trail. Hitch! There's parts on that, you know. You are. Bailed off that. You bailed off that, yeah. Okay, here comes another one. Oh, there you go, yeah. How did we get down that without breaking something? Because Come your on. name is Dane. Apparently you were the So you're going to step down and you're going to keep stepping down in the back at the same time. So you're just stepping it. Huh? Way, 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 way more way. impressive than, than right. you think. I was just driving. Oh, boy. Which way should I go on this? I would come more this way. It was good here, right? Yeah. I need to kind of angle left and then right. Yeah, right there. This is pretty As you can see here, this ledge is pretty steep, and that's why Dane took it originally first at an angle to get one tire off to the one side to help get the truck down. Sometimes when you angle, it really helps avoid getting damage to a long stock bed truck. Good down that line. Now I'd go driver. There you go, perfect. Right there. Nope, you're not teetering. You're gonna just barely keep going straight. You're good. 
Yep, you 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 made it on your approach. Oh, there you go. Oop. Uh, Hitch. Hitch slide. Of all days, it's all true. Right, come grab me down there. I know you're okay. Just now straighten out a little bit. It's gonna lift up on the passenger side in the back. Good. Now driver. Driver. Okay, right there. Now stay there. Yeah, you're good. Cause you're gonna dip really far in the front. Back right. You are totally off the ground on the other side, I bet. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is steep. That's hard to walk around. Okay. Left. Straight. I will keep going straight. That was my hitch. I think we're right there. We're okay. Ow. Just barely though. We're talking if I would have angled you, it would have hit your bumper, so. Would have hit my bumper? I think we, we would have went off angled, maybe. As you're driving this trail, you'll keep wondering what new obstacle is gonna be around the next corner. Is it gonna be slick rock? Is it gonna be some more sand? Is it gonna be hill climb with steep descents? This trail will keep you guessing and is very entertaining for most off-roaders. Oh yeah, you're good. Right. So Dane. Yes. What are we stuck behind? Ah, just a fleet of slow Broncos. Badlands. They don't know anything. They're just having trouble here. It's okay though, they've got this eventually. We're the only Tacoma in a line if of Broncos. If they all teach them how to get through. <laughs> <laughs> Show them the way. Omo, Obi no, right. one Kenobi. So you're probably wondering why there's a traffic jam here in the middle of the desert. Well, this specific offshoot will take you to a really cool arch that's out here in the middle of nowhere. And what's great is if you have an off-road vehicle, you can get here pretty easily. If you do plan on coming here, I recommend trying to get in between the group of Broncos so that you can get over these obstacles without having to wait like we did. It will save you a bunch of time on this trail. How do you like following Broncos? It's really slow and boring. <laughs> right, we just want to zoom and be so done. I want to get to the arch and then hit the caves and then go home. It's 2.30, we had a long day. Right. Now we're stuck. We're stuck behind a herd of Broncos. They're worse than cows. Right, at least in cows. At least cows, cows we can move. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're good. <laughs> no, you're just nosing almost, so. We're in the red. It looks red from the outside. I'm worried about the hitch, but we'll see. You keep going, you're okay. The angle, yeah. Go. Tacoma power, baby! 
<laughs> so Everett, what what is what are you looking at? Arch. So Everett, why do we four wheel? I don't know. Let's just get the arches. So we can get to places that have things like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why we four wheel. And we enjoy ourselves. Yes. And we apparently follow Broncos. Broncos. Lots and lots of Broncos who don't even stop to hang out at the arch. Um, Mom, we can get closer to it. Right, we, we can. can. Pretty cool. Made it where the Bronco Badland made. Gotta see the arch. So was it worth it, Dane, so far? No, because we ripped off the frame. We're missing two thirds of it. No, he wouldn't be sitting there if it was missing two thirds. I put duct tape on it. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> a child who's climbing. Don't affect the resale value. <laughs> Don't you know, Toyotas make resale value. They get more expensive the longer you own them and have used yeah, them. Yeah, Gorilla Tape, you're now in the high end market. And if it comes with a full tank again. Yes, yes, I'll feel it for <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. You didn't even get out and see this part. That's cool. An easy scramble will get you inside the cavernous arch where you can enjoy a serene view looking out into the landscape with the LaSalle Mountains as your backdrop. All day. All right, we're out to get that arch. That's what happens, you coop a six year old up for all day. <laughs> must run, must climb, must smile and be happy. Look at that rock climbing feed. Oh yeah, she's slipping. Uh oh, I'm in his path. Uh, did you see that? That was pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm going for it too. <laughs> oh! She can't stop! Centrifugal motion! An ankle. <laughs> Woo! Hurt my brain. <laughs> After enjoying the arch, sadly, you have to go back through all those obstacles that you had to get through here, including that really nasty ledge. But first, we got to get to it. Yeah, just hug the bank. Huh? Just hug what you're doing. Now go, passenger. Passenger more. You're definitely flexed. You're okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna be fine. Can't tell. No, you're climbing on the back. It was just making sure he was gonna climb. No, but you're good there. Put the locker on this time just for the next section. And there's the next rock ledge over there. So for the record, after looking at this obstacle, we realized that the Broncos didn't climb this ledge, but rather they took the bypass around, which we didn't realize there was a bypass until we were already committed and figured we might as well try it anyway. There's a bypass, I think. Oh, there is. Do you want to try it or do the bypass? Yeah. Okay, we'll see what it looks like, and if it's too bad, we'll bypass it. Yeah. Right, keep going, you're almost there. You're gonna climb it, barely. You're okay, keep coming towards me. You're on the rocks. Back up carefully. There you go. 
I think we're gonna be okay. Just give it a sec. Just go slow. We're okay still. Your back's gonna start climbing. That's what we need. Oh yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it. That was so hard. <laughs> Oof. After completing that, we were ready for some relaxation in the caves. This is a natural spring that's located here in the desert, and sometimes springs in the desert are pretty hard to find, but this one's pretty well marked. And what's even cooler about this one is it's got some pretty epic little sand hills nearby. Honestly, this is my favorite part of Dome Plateau are these amazing caves. They're so cool, they're so big, and they're a great place to stop and let your kids play and stretch their legs. Video? Yeah, this big sand hill for him. I know. It almost reminds me of um, the Great Chamber. I know. Right. Let's recuperate. Watch this. <sighs> much deeper than it looks, folks. It is. Look at that. I'm old. He's kid on camera. Point. He is. Okay. Oh, what the what cellulite? <laughs> oh, cellulite, I don't know what you're talking about. Down and out. <laughs> it's only taking off my dust for the season. <laughs> so once you're done four whaling, um, part of the way there are some caves, and they're really cool, and there's this one with a lot of sand. It is quite a hike up it, but it is a great spot to stop if you have kids so they can run their energy out. So that's what Everett's doing right now, and I highly recommend. I can see it on the camera. It's actually, you're illuminating it quite well. Wow, this is cool. Okay, cut it dead into you. This is the whole cavern. It's pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's. Huge. After spending time at these caverns, it was time for us to hit the trail and continue on to finish our day. Right before you complete Dome Plateau, you'll arrive at these old mining cabins. Don't just blast by them, take some time and look. They're pretty neat. Oh. Wow, that's cool. They use cardboard and paper. The one room cabin, man. Look at that. Pretty snazzy, eh? And why is there a cheetah driver in here? There is, people left trash. Pretty cool. We should probably pick this up. Yeah, grab it, don't throw it in the truck. Throw it away. Cause we don't want people to exactly. see Does a keto wrapper. No, no Pretty cool, all right. Like, like we it's very cool. Like, 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 Logs, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what did you think about oh. your back lip really bad? Oh, dear God. What do you want? Did I have to face the other way? I think my thing's broken. It's broken. There, I got it fixed. Our transmission thing's broken. Well, I had it fixed. Our transmission thing's broken. Our transmission thing's broken.